the start of a normal day. Gordon was eating, Megan was being cute, Mum and Dad were planning the housework. That's right, and then we have Megan's swift assault on the toilet bowl. Affirmative. I was inventing. He's here, Tracy, he's here! And my best friend Seamus was screaming hysterically and hiding in the dark. Seamus, are you OK? Is it all right if I stay in here for maybe a week? But you can drop in some food now and then. Thanks, Tracy. Seamus, come out and tell me what's going on. It's my cousin Lee. He's in town for a big gymnastics meet. Oi, you must really hate him. No, I like him. Lee's fantastic. So, what's with the hiding? Lee is bad luck. Bad luck? Total and complete bad luck. What are you talking about? Wherever Lee goes, things happen. Strange things, weird things, all because of bad luck. Seamus, this sounds like superstition. And superstition is totally unscientific. Ah, he's here! So much for my normal day. Hi. Would my cousin Seamus be here? You've come to the right place. <laughs> Seamus, what are you doing in there? Ah, uh, checking for termites. And I am pleased to inform you, Tracy, you are termite free. Uh, yeah, thanks, Seamus. Lee, this is my friend Tracy. It's great to meet you, Tracy. Seamus has told me all about you being a brilliant inventor. <laughs> oh, Seamus exaggerates. But he says that most of your inventions never work the way they should. Ah, uh, like I said, Seamus exaggerates. I'm here in town to compete in the gymnastics meet. Would you like to come? Oh, for sure. Tracy, the bad luck. Don't be silly, Seamus. It's all in your mind. Ah, there's the problem, Seamus. The caravan springs need fixing. It has nothing to do with bad luck. But how come the springs broke the moment Lee arrived? Explain that. A coincidence. Nothing more. Come on, Seamus, let's find Lee. I know it. This is preposterous. A person can't give anyone else bad luck just by their mere presence. Lee can. Lee can't. And I'll prove it with a simple experiment. You'll help me, Tracy. Leave it to me. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. You're so brave, Tracy. Oh, what's there to be brave about? You'll see. The idea that Lee causes bad luck is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. OK, Jakey boy, it's seconds to go. It's up to Jim to save the match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm too good. I'm just too good. You know what I am? I don't know. You keep talking, but what are you saying? I'm saying I'm too good. Oh, that, yeah, you are too good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at, McBean? What else could we be looking at? You? Yeah, I know, but I'm just... Why? Oh, uh, we can't help but admire your amazing skill. Our basketball ability is quite implausible, bordering on the ridiculous. No theory or fact or permutation of fact can explain our adept and complete physical prowess. <laughs> yeah, and we're hot too. So stand back, McBean, or the heat will frazzle you. Hot, 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 up, up, up. <laughs> Jim and Jake McConnelly are our guinea pigs. Tracy to Lee. Tracy to Lee. You may approach. Are you sure this will be OK? Look, you are here and Jim and Jake are there. What is happening? Nothing. Exactly. Nothing. Lee has no effect on the McConnelly brothers. Maybe I'm not bad luck at all. What? What's, what's this about bad luck? Did someone say bad luck? I hate bad luck. Is somebody in bad luck? Uh, guys, there's no bad luck here. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing to see. Just continue playing. Oh, that was bad luck. Bad luck. Oh, for sure. Bad luck. Oh. Now do you believe it, Tracy? No, I don't. There's got to be a scientific explanation for this. I really want to go to my gymnastics practice, but I'm scared something will happen. Nothing will happen. You said that last time. Look, you'll be fine. Seamus and I will go with you and make sure of it. Huh? We will. This requires more observation before any conclusion can be reached. 
This has got to stop. We like you, Lee, but we've had enough. We don't want to do this, but we have to. Do what? We don't want you to be in competition. <gasps> if you compete, we won't. You're banned. Please, not that. Walk away, we Walk away. No! <laughs> Lee! Wait! Wait! I'm sure Lee ran in here somewhere. Oh, I think I know where he is. Without gymnastics. Oh, how could those other gymnasts do this to you? I don't blame them. With all my bad luck, I'd ban me too. Lee, you do not have bad luck. You will be in that competition. I promise it. I decided to convince the gymnasts that it was all in their minds. It was silly superstition, and there was no way that Lee was responsible for their accidents. How come every time I broke my ankle was when Lee was around? Well... Uh... And I fractured my foot. Uh, uh... And I sprained my wrist. Really? It was just a coincidence. They weren't buying it. My next idea was to fight bad luck with good luck. So we collected some lucky charms. Beckoning cat statue. Horseshoe. Four-leaf clover. Garlic. Garlic? I don't think that's for good luck. It's to keep vampires away. Not being bitten by a vampire, I'd call that lucky. How's it going, Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> the problem was clearly bigger than I first thought. But what to do about it? This calls for an invention. <gasps> Maybe my best invention ever. This headband is no ordinary headband. It is, in fact, a special anti-bad luck negative polarity field generator. A what? What does it do? How does it work? Well, it will counteract any bad luck that you think comes from Lee. It creates a force field that no bad luck energy can penetrate. To prove it, Seamus will demonstrate. Uh, I will? Use the trampoline, Seamus. <laughs> the trampoline? Trust me, Seamus. I will now turn on the headband. OK, Seamus, start bouncing. <laughs> Take note that nothing unusual is occurring. <laughs> you're, here, you're right, Tracy. This is great. I now switch off the headband. <laughs> See how the headband works? As long as it's switched on, you have nothing to be afraid of. Oh, I still don't roll. How can we be sure? No problem. I prepared another test. Lunch is about to be delivered by the clumsiest kid in the known universe. My brother, Gordon. Oh. I again switch off the headband. Come on. Ah. I'll save you. With us, Lee. Ah, the curse has been lifted. All oh, thanks to science, Seamus. Uh, Seamus? Uh, Tracy! The big gymnastics competition went ahead with everyone involved. Lee was sensational! Bad luck headband is the best, Tracy. Don't tell anyone, but it's not really real. It isn't? Of course not. You can't invent something to keep away bad luck. That's impossible. So what did you do? I stopped people thinking Lee is bad luck. But what about those tests? What about the trampoline? Child's play, Seamus. I rigged the trampoline to fold up. But what about Gordon? I fixed his sneakers to make him slip. Gordon's natural clumsiness did the rest. 
So one of your best inventions ever is one that doesn't actually work. You said it, Seamus. It worked perfectly by not working. Would you believe, Seamus? What? It was just bad luck. <laughs> <laughs>